hello welcome to back to my youtube channel today we are talking about urgent marriage you say urgent marriage urgent marriage is a situation where two people decide to get married without much planning due to some circumstances such as um, pregnancy tradition maybe financial support or anything so this is what we are here to talk about today so that you can learn from it i'll be right back welcome back to my next video in today's video we are talking about how to prevent urgent marriage so that everything will go well you don't get into the urgent marriage before you start regretting and you start um, thinking a lot things are not going well for you and all that so we are talking about how to prevent it the first one we are talking about the two couples who want to get married you have to talk to them for them to understand the situation they are getting into so that when in case they get into that it doesn't affect them it doesn't let them understand it very well explain it to them so that they don't get into it so when we are talking about listening to their concern the reason why they are getting married urgent is that they want to get quickly they want to move on quickly with the marriage you have to listen to the, what they will say the reason why they want to get so that you can advise them on what is going to happen in the next future when they get married which is the urgent married yes so that is what you are supposed to tell them advise them on what they are planning to do you help them about the urgent marriage what the reason why they are getting married yes help them so that they don't get into it you can help them by maybe helping them with a career helping them with maybe education maybe the person wants to learn trade so that they don't get into the urgent marriage maybe the situation is um, the person wants to let's say a lady because of a pregnancy or because uh, financial support she wants to get married to a man so that the man will support her the man will maybe take care of the pregnancy or because of the pregnancy she is getting into the marriage you have to let her know that or maybe learn a trade or maybe support yourself first maybe you have to get something to do before you get into marriage so that it doesn't look like it's an urgent marriage it doesn't look like the marriage you are not prepared or not that the person is supposed to get prepared very well before getting into marriage and that's what we are talking about is you have to help them uh, for counseling maybe an elderly people to talk to them they are getting into urgent marriage and the consequences they are going to face in the next future they have to talk to them so that they know that this is what we are going to face in the next future since it's urgent marriage yes so that they know what to do when maybe they are having challenges in the marriage they are having anything in the marriage yes, yeah, like they need to see a counselor so that they'll, they'll decide that oh it's because of this and this that's why you are getting married it is not urgent marriage if they don't see a counselor and they just jump into the marriage that's what is going to affect them in the next future the next one we are talking about it should help them understand what the consequences in the next future let's say you're getting married married because it's an urgent marriage like the consequences maybe it will lead to divorce emotional stress and a lot of thinking they are thinking it's not urgent marriage they will know where to stand do know that there is going to be a divorce in future do know that it's going to be emotional stress do know that it's going to be a uh, financial instability and all the lack of money uh, you don't have money to take off the children you don't have money and all the or the, maybe the man is not even taking care of the lady or the children or the woman is even the woman will le leave the house without taking care of the children the man will be suffering taking care of the children and all that yes so you need to know the consequences before getting into urgent marriage the next one you are talking about is you need to discuss with them the importance of taking time to know someone before getting into a long life marriage or a long term marriage for the rest of your life you are going to spend the rest of your life with the person so you need to take time to know the person you need to take time know the person very very well what the person does is the person does it, the person likes me or the, the person loves me if it's not because of a pregnancy it's not because of anything like financial support and all that take time to know the person couples who are getting married they should know that marriage is about partnership to respect one another you need to partner with 
your partner maybe in terms of anything you need to help your partner and all that but if it is urgent marriage and the person the person will not try to open certain things up for you to know the person will start hiding things from you you need to advise them on that what is going to happen in the mar in the urgent but so that they don't involve themselves in it so you're talking about so the importance of financial stability before getting into marriage you need to get something to do before getting into marriage it shouldn't be something that you are not you are not comfortable with and you, because the person is handsome the person is rich you you want to get married because you don't know what is there so you need to get and share stable like so that you you can take off yourself before getting into marriage what you are talking about is you need to be self-independent before getting into marriage yes you need to be able to take off yourself you need to buy your own clothes buy your own things and support yourself in school or maybe a trade or something before you get into marriage so that when you go into the marriage you not go and depend on your husband your wife because it is urgent marriage that's what we are talking about you need to understand that there is going to be a communication yes you should advise them that there should be importance of communication a healthy communication between the two of you getting married so that everything will flow very well it's not that because you are married because it is urgent marriage you are not going to talk to each other all the time you are you found your face all the time you, you are not okay with your husband your wife all the time you are fighting around and all that you need to have a good communication to, so that it will prevent urgent by even when you are you're getting married it will prevent it or when you want to get married you should understand that there should be a communication between the two of you to come together before getting married um, to prevent urgent marriage you can also spend time with your boyfriends families your girlfriend families prevent urgent marriage you can meet families together have fun together go places together you need to come together and be one getting married is a lifelong commitment which is you need to think of it before getting married to the person you don't need to just jump into the marriage because you you are old to get married just find one to get married and because you, you financial support because anything that you think or maybe because of passports you need to you just jump into the marriage it's a long life commitment so you need to think of it before jumping into it I encourage those who are coming together to get married that they have to ask those who have the experience those who have passed through that those who have gotten married which is it was urgent marriage and they are no more or even if they are still there you have to ask questions about how it went how things are going with them and all that if this it was pregnancy before the lady went into the marriage if this because of passport you need to ask those who have the experience those who have gone through that already so that you just use it to also advise yourself since you're also getting into the same situation it's important that advise them why the reason why they are getting into the urgent marriage uh maybe they have something in mind maybe the man is having money maybe the woman is rich or that because the man is maybe a sugar daddy a sugar mommy you want the reason why you are jumping into the urgent marriage and all that you need to advise them on all that you've seen two couples who want to come together which is very urgent they didn't plan into war and all that you need to advise them and that's what we're talking about is you need to advise them get a strong foundation before getting into the marriage so that it will not look like it is urgent marriage they need to build up with yourself know each other very well discuss certain things try to solve each other's problem before getting into the marriage and all that so you should know that marriage is not a solution to a problem you say because um, you don't have money or something like that because you are you are broke you want to get married you are thinking because the marriage is a solution to your problem it's never a solution to a problem marriage is a long long life something so that do you apart so you need to think of it before getting into it next we are talking about to prevent urgent marriage you need to share certain responsibilities before getting into the marriage so that you know that before you are getting to the man you know already how to know how to pay electricity bills you know how to pay your water bills you know pay your own school fees you know how to buy your own things already before getting into marriage so you need to support each other 
before getting into marriage so that it will not look like it is urgent marriage the next one you're talking about is if two people are getting they want to get married which you think it is urgent marriage you need to advise them on maybe family and friends like someone is telling the lady or the man to get married to this man because he's rich because he's handsome because he's having cars because he's having houses because he has been in the united states and all that yes you need to talk to friends and family so that they take your own decision before getting into the marriage so that it's not look like it's urgent marriage so that you, because at the end of the day you are going to suffer alone in the marriage so to prevent that think of it before you move on so you're talking about it it is important that you have to have an open communication to your family friends your parents who are close to you, even pastors so that you can also give you some advices that you can stand on it so that you not go and regret in the marriage the next one you're talking about you need to be honest to your partner before getting to the marriage yes so that it's not look like it's an urgent marriage honest know everything about you he, he also know everything about you that's why you're talking about it. it is important to maintain a healthy work lifestyle if you say a healthy work lifestyle what i mean is that maybe your work you need to work hard so that you bring money to the table you need to work very well and a good way not any work any job you are supposed to do do something that it will fetch you money something that you'll be okay something that you you not be struggling paying your children's school fees when you get married to prevent urgent marriage and all that yes you need to do all that next one you're talking about is to prevent urgent marriage you need, need to emotionally and mentally prepared for the urgent marriage yes so like you know that oh the audience i'm i'm getting to you are going to face consequences you are going to face emotional stress and all that. so you need to get ready for that the next one you're talking about is you need to discuss the importance of personal values and beliefs in the relationship before getting married yes to prevent urgent marriage you need to discuss all that to yeah the beliefs and all that so that you don't go and suffer um, they don't believe this they believe this and all that they don't eat this they eat this and all that yes so you need to discuss the values and the beliefs of the child like your partner who you are getting married to so that it doesn't prevent the urgent marriage yes so that it doesn't look like it's urgent marriage yes all right you need to advise the two couples who are getting married to so need to take time to reflect on your decision before getting married that's urgent by the next one you're talking about is it is important to say no if you have you feel pressured or if you feel like it is urgent marriage or if you see that oh the marriage i'm getting to you are not clear in your mind to get into it and be facing problems consequences which is difficult to go out of the marriage the next one you're talking about you need to seek support from your loved ones the community everyone you need to support you need to take support from that place so that it's you're not going to suffer in the marriage because it is urgent marriage so that you take your decision to go this is what i've brought you in about in this video to prevent urgent marriage you need to follow these steps to prevent urgent marriage you don't need to rush you don't need to um, put pressure because family members are giving you pressure family members are telling you 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 have a baby with him get married to him family members are telling you that oh because he's rich because he's handsome because of your passport get married to him so that you can go and stay in america and all that it is urgent marriage. to prevent it make sure what i've talked about in this video you follow them so that you prevent it in the next future so that you don't feel the consequences in the next future this so this is what i've brought to you that's if you need a healthy relationship please subscribe comment smash the like button and click on the notification bell to be notified anytime i upload a video i upload videos three times in a week thank you for watching i'll see you next time Bye bye